Releasing an album is a euphoric moment for a singer or performer. It can also be overwhelming if you're not sure what you're doing. It can also be disappointing when we release it and nothing happens. Well, fear not my friend, because in this video we're diving into an effective strategy for releasing an album, including some tips to help you organize everything, build hype for its launch, and set you and your music up for success. So let's blast off and get started. <laughs> Konnichiwa Cyborgs, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better indie artist. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel I'm helping others take their music to level 2. That sounds good, consider subscribing. If not, well that's pretty rude. I take the time to plan all this out for you and you can't even hit the sub button? Think that says a lot more about you than it does about me. Even though there's a 100% chance that I do the exact same thing to other people. What does that say about me? We need to be better people. You can start for both of us. Think about that. Okay, so a few things before we really start diving into this video. Before you move on to planning the release of your album, I highly recommend you make sure that your music is completely finished. It's mixed, it's mastered, you know the exact track list order, etc. Another thing you should know really well is your brand, or at least have a strong sense of who you are as an artist, who you sound like or who your influences are, who your fans or potential fans are, basically what you're all about. There are videos on this channel that can help you figure all that stuff out, there's links in the description below, but if you need further clarification, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I'm here to help as much as possible. Another major point I have for you is to give yourself at least four to six months before your album launches to do all this stuff. I know, I know, it sounds like a really long time, but trust me, it flies by really quickly. And having the patience to do this right made all the difference when I released Utopia back in January. So I'm telling you from personal experience, take the time. Now finally, I highly recommend you get a calendar to schedule all of this. I'm not going to be giving you specific dates on when you should reveal your album artwork or whatever, but I am going to give you a very general outline and a date will need to be assigned to all of these key action items by you. So a calendar will really help you stay on top of all of this. Also just FYI, this video is designed for a standard pop album release, but it can be converted and adapted to EPs and scenes singles, or albums in other genres as well. So don't run away. And with that out of the way, now let's really start breaking this down. So let's start with some key events that take place in an album release schedule. So you know what I'm talking about when we move on to the strategy part of this video. Album pre-pre-launch. This is all the little teasing things you do before actually revealing official material like the first single or the album cover, etc. all that. It's usually like a sneaky tweet or some kind of post or email that essentially tells fans you're up to something. Album pre-launch. This space is for everything that occurs just before your album launch day. So from announcing your first single, to premiering the music video or lyric video, to premiering the album cover, all of that sort of fun stuff. This is when your fans know the album is coming soon and they are hyped for it. Album launch. This is the day your album goes live in stores and your fans can go buy or stream it. Album post-launch. This includes all the promo after your album is launched, often including a second or third single, more press you might be getting, stuff that keeps the promo going well after your album launch day. So now that you understand the key phases in launching an album, we're going to talk about an effective strategy for releasing an album that will build hype around it and set everything up for success. Again, I'm not going to be saying like on June 1st you need to release album artwork and then on June 30th you need to say oh my first single is coming out. I'm going to give you an outline with some key action items that need to take place during that time so don't be afraid to pause this video or re-watch it a couple times and write things down or take a screen cap or something that helps you get all the information. And again don't hesitate to ask me for clarification in the comments below as well. Okay? Here we go. Pre-pre-launch key items. Four to six months before your album launch day. Here's what you need to get done. A few teaser photos posted or tweets talking about being in the studio or new music coming soon, keep your eyes peeled, that sort of stuff. 
But on your side, you're going to be getting your calendar completed. Your first single needs to be selected. You need to choose a launch date. You need to get your photo shoot completed and your music video filmed if you're doing one. By the way, pro tip, nowadays with things being so on demand and mobile and constantly moving, it's going to save you a lot of headache if you just have the whole package done ahead of time. So get that done too. You want to get as much promo artwork done as possible. So get your website updated, get your album cover done, get your single cover done if you're doing one. Once all your album artwork is done, this would be the time to order physical CDs if you're doing them. But if you're making a pop album, you probably know that physical CDs are kind of on their way out. And yes, I hate myself for saying that, but it's starting to kind of be true. Now, some fans love physical CDs, but this isn't the video for that discussion. So just letting you know. Also, if your goal is to try to get on the billboard charts, you need to have your pre-order set up with your distributor, which is like TuneCore or CD Baby. I love TuneCore. So get that taken care of as well during this time. And finally, get your press release done as early as you can with all the materials that you need. Pre-launch part one key items. Two months before your album launch day, start posting on social media less often. I know it seems weird and counterproductive, but I took this risk recently with Utopia and my fan base is pretty small, but trust me, it paid off big time. So start doing that. Next, any of the other videos or artwork that you haven't finished yet, get that done. It needs to be completely done, 100% finalized. And make sure it's formatted correctly across all platforms. Instagram is different from Instagram stories. YouTube is different from Facebook. Make sure you've got it all done. If you're doing a music video or lyric video, make sure it's spliced into specific social media clips that you can use for promo. I mean, do everything. I know it's a lot, but it's it's worth it. You want release month coming up next to go as smoothly as possible. And if you put in the grunt work, you're going to be thanking yourself. Pre-launch phase part two key items. Four weeks before your album is launched. This is the time to begin your promo sequence with some sort of I'm back and I brought something with me sort of post or move. For example, for Utopia on January 1st, I turn all of my social media platforms pink. Changed all the default pictures, all the banners, all pink and didn't say anything. So when my fans saw this, they knew something was happening, right guys? I know like three of you are watching this, so like, I see you. This is when you launch your first single. This is when you premiere the music video. This is when you return to social media with a mix of promo posts, but as well as what are called nurture posts. And basically nurture posts are just like the impromptu selfie or fun little video we take in the moment that just kind of show our fans they're talking to a real person, not a fake promotional robot. This is when you announce your album title, the artwork, when they can get it, all that sort of fun stuff. Album launch. This is the day your album is available to stream or buy. Yay, you did it. You can share any press or fan reviews you might be getting. You can launch some merch that coincides with the album. Keep posting promo posts as well as some nurture posts. Your fans by this time know that you're promoting right now, so it's okay, they expect it. If you're promoting a little bit heavier than usually. And please don't forget to have fun. You planned, you worked hard, you courted coordinated all this stuff. You own this moment and you have fun today. And finally, your post-launch key items. This is everything after your launch week. This is when you can announce your second single if you're doing one or your third single. You can share any more press you might be getting about your album. You can check back to see if you charted on Billboard, whatever you wanna do. This is the time to do all of that to keep promo going well after your album has launched. Remember, you have a lot of freedom when it comes to launching an album, but this is a strategy that many artists use and I personally used and found it to be really effective. You're in charge of what dates you choose to reveal certain things, but I hope that this outline helps you. Remember, take the time to plan things out. Give yourself some leeway and work ahead and be prepared for some things to not go right and just be able to go with the flow. That's part of why you wanna do this so far ahead of time. Believe in yourself and always set you and your music up for success. So that is my video on how to release an album. Question of the video, when is your next album launching? 
leave me a comment below letting me know. If you want to check out my music, my new EP Utopia is available now. Links in the description below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller, and I will see you next time. Matane! Gotta go! LTR, but you've been so shady. Think you're hooking leads, but you never met Hades. If you wanted, you could get it. Yeah, maybe, but you only have once for the 90s, baby. JM in your universe. Bye.